Hi, small group community. Casey Phillips here, Director of Evangelization and Coordinator of our small groups here at the Cathedral, here with the upcoming Sunday Gospel Reflection from Mark. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down, begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him and said to him, I do will it, be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad, so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. So a couple things stand out to me. I think, of course, the whole issue surrounding the messianic secret, right? Jesus is saying, don't tell anybody, keep this a secret for now. Don't be, just go to the priest, do what Moses prescribed. That'll be proof for them. But of course the man just immediately runs out as you would kind of imagine. I think I would probably be really, really tempted to do the same thing and tell everybody about this miraculous healing that I had received. Um, but another thing that really strikes me in this particular reading and a couple other instances we find in the gospel is the leper approaches Jesus and says, if you wish, you can make me clean. So that faith that's already in, built up inside of the, the leprous man who comes up to Jesus and says, if you wish, recognizing the power that Jesus has and who the, uh, really the identity of Jesus, and that moved Jesus to pity, right? Because just to see this man's faith. And you see another time in the gospel as well, Jesus asks the person who's going to heal, do you, do you wish to be healed? Do you want to be healed? Right? And so that recognition that, um, you know, God's asking us the same thing. Whatever it is in our life, whether it is physical healing, which God still does that today as well, if we ask for it, if we're predisposed, if we really ask to be healed, um, but maybe it's not physical, maybe it's spiritual, maybe it's emotional, maybe something going on in your life. Um, you know, maybe that's something you need to share in your small group this week and just say, you know, I've been carrying this around and just offer that and, and, and just kind of have a discussion about, you know, how am I allowing Jesus to heal me? Am I allowing? Or am I saying, I've got this, Jesus, I'll handle this. I don't need to turn this over. You've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> so are we being open to the healing that Jesus so, so wants to give us? He's moved to pity if we, if we come to him and ask him earnestly. So I'll be sticking around for those discussion questions. And remember our parish connection for this month, February is Lent. What am I giving up or what am I taking on? You know, what's, what's my prayer, fasting and almsgiving going to look like this year? Don't let it sneak up on you. I know I do oftentimes, and I'm like, oh, no, we're already a week or two in, and I've not really been very intentional, and you're tempted to just kind of fall off the bandwagon altogether. So maybe discuss in your group this week, you know, what are you doing? What are you thinking about? So anyway, guys, guys, I hope you have a great discussion. We'll see you next week. Thanks for being a part of our small group community here at the Cathedral of Christ the King. If you liked that video, be sure you stick around for those discussion questions and share it with someone who might be interested in joining our community here at the Cathedral. May God bless you all.